Did you know that you could create your very own Musio key switches and articulation sets in Logic Pro? So if you're trying to build an orchestral template, this could make your layout and your workflow both efficient and easier to navigate. Personally, I love creating articulation sets in Logic Pro and just testing out what works for my own template. This video is gonna focus on creating custom key switches for Musio. But if you want another option for your articulation sets, make sure you check out my video on how to use MIDI CCs to control your articulations as well. First, let's start off with what exactly Musio is. Musio is a subscription-based product that gives you access to features from a catalog of CineSamples libraries. I'm incredibly lucky to be part of the beta team, so I've seen how Musio has grown over the past year or so. The selection of libraries is continuously growing, and they eventually plan on having the entire CineSamples catalog for you to choose from and compose with. The goal of Musio is to get composers writing quickly without too much technical limitation getting in the way. When you pull up Musio, all you have to do is just search for the instrument or articulation that you want, load it into the rack, and then just play. What's great about Musio is that you can add in articulations that you know that you need, as opposed to loading in maybe one large patch. But because of that, at the time of recording this, you're not gonna get key switches. Now, in case you don't know, key switches are pre-assigned keys that allow you to switch between articulations. With something like Musio, if you want one instance to be your violin, most people will likely load in all of the violin articulations that they want and then route them to separate outputs. So you have between one and two, three and four, five and six, all the way up to 31 and 32, and then you can create separate aux tracks as well. But if there aren't any key switches built into this instrument, then how can we get them into Logic? And the answer is with articulation sets. So the very first thing you wanna do is make sure each articulation is routed to its own MIDI channel. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up until 13. And then a cool thing that Musio does is that if you go to your settings, you can actually set up auto increments for both the MIDI channel and the output bus. And this will make the process go by much quicker. As for the output, just keep this at one and two because we want this violin track to be our one violin. And of course, this is gonna be up to you what you want loaded per instance. A lot of times people like to have an instance for long articulations and then another for short articulations. Uh, mainly for mixing purposes. Now, if we were to go over to the inspector and look under track, you'll see that we have an articulation set dropdown menu. If you're starting fresh, you'll wanna click new, but I already created one for this demo, so I'm gonna click edit. So since mine's already preset, you're gonna see that I have all the articulation names to match the Musio articulations. Now you can always add, subtract, or rename articulations from this page. And you'll typically want the order of articulations to match the setup that you have in the Musio rack. This just makes the process a little bit easier. Next, you're gonna wanna output the articulations appropriately. Here, you're gonna see all the articulations that you set up from the previous page. To the right of each articulation, you'll see the type dropdown. And since we wanna use key switches, we're gonna keep note on. And you'll do this for each articulation going down. Then this channel is gonna correspond with the Musio channel that we set up earlier. So for each one that you loaded in, go one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then finally, since we chose the note on type, the selector is gonna give us a range from C negative two all the way to G8. For this example, I have 13 articulations. So in order to save space and the number of keys, I go from C0, C sharp zero, D0, D sharp zero, all the way up to C1. Also in this case, we don't have to worry about any of the values, so we're gonna leave this blank. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could stop right here and you would have a perfectly fine articulation set ready to go. Within the instrument instance itself, you're gonna see that you have this articulation list that you can choose from. And then within the piano roll itself, we get another drop-down menu of those same articulations. This is great because you could write in this line of music and then assign the articulation after the fact. So here we have some legatos, we have um, some spiccatos, we have staccato and a half step trill. So the benefit to this is that you don't have to add in those tiny little triggers where the key switch would be. Thanks to the articulation sets, Logic knows which notes are assigned to which articulation. Now, the thing is, you'll notice that even though I set up the switches from C0 all the way to C1, they're not gonna act as switches just yet, right? I'm pressing C0, that should be legato. 
Then if I were to press D, that should be spiccato. And nothing is being affected by that. And really, if you want a faster workflow where you know that you can stay focused, you're most likely not gonna wanna go into that Musio instance every single time that you wanna switch articulations. And that is where this switches tab is gonna come into play. Now, this last part is incredibly useful and gonna be much easier compared to what we did before. When you head on over to switches, you'll see this empty page, but if you press the plus sign, the amount of times that you have articulations, all of those articulations will be there, the note type, the selector, it's all saved from before. And then if you want your keyboard to be ready registered by these switches, make sure that the MIDI remote button is turned on or showing as blue, and then just keep the MIDI channel to all. This will tell your instrument that you want all of these virtual switches to apply to all of the MIDI channels set up within Musio. Now I can play legato, spiccato, tremolo, and it will change accordingly. So if I were to say C0, that'll be our legato. If I were to do D0, that will be our spiccato. Let's try for a pizzicato. That's gonna be F. And then uh, C1 will be our whole step trill. And you can even see that inside Musio, everything is routed correctly depending on the MIDI channel that we chose. So if I were to do C0 again, we'll see that it's coming out of the right channel. If I were to do C1, scroll all the way down, that's the whole step trill, and it's coming out the right channel. And then the very last thing that you'll wanna do is go back to the articulation set dropdown and select save as so that you don't lose any of the work that you just did. Personally, I like to create my own separate folders based on sample developer. And so I have a Musio folder and then I would save this as violin one C0 to C1 uh, demo for, for this video. I really think that articulation sets are just incredible and give you so much control over your instrument. It's really just about doing some work ahead of time to make your writing process just that much easier. Now, when it comes to key switches, people are gonna have a lot to say about them. Now, I'm not saying that they're perfect, but I think articulation sets make them a little bit more user-friendly so that we don't have to worry about triggers in our piano roll. Plus, I love that everything is just gonna come out of that one track. There's no need for individual tracks for each individual articulation. That just clutters up our template and uses more DAW resources. Key switches are not ideal when it comes to dealing with multiple ranges, and you have to remember which key goes to which articulation. This can lead to wrong articulations being played and an overlap of different instrument ranges. Also, there's a lack of consistency in articulations depending on the instruments that you use. So for example, string articulations could be very different from the brass or wind articulations. And that's why articulation sets that use MIDI CC values could potentially be another and even better option for you. So your next step is to tap or click this video to learn more about that setup process. I'll see you over there. And as always, happy composing.